Glory to God. We're getting ready for the word of God here tonight. We are getting ready for the word. Are you ready for an unprecedented victory tonight? Oh, come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on, come on, come on. God gave Pastor Sean and Pastor Amy an unprecedented victory in 2019, and we are still rejoicing. Blessed be the name of Jesus. I believe it's somebody else's time here tonight. Hallelujah, Lord. Father God, as we get ready to go into the Word of God tonight, minister to your people, speak to them, encourage them, strengthen them, let the Word of God come forth with fire and power and authority and revelation, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding tonight. Dear God, give somebody direction, someone whose back is against the wall, someone who is caught up in something tonight. Lord, have mercy. Do it, Jesus. Do it, Jesus. Do it, Jesus. Come on, somebody say, do it, Jesus. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Unprecedented. Un I, don't want, I don't want no ordinary victory. I want him to blow my mind. I want God to do something so big that I ain't going to be able to sleep. Come on, somebody. Have you ever had God did something for you where you didn't even sleep? <laughs> you, you didn't even. I tell you, Lord, have mercy. I remember living in Jacksonville, Florida. And I know some of you heard me share this before. We had, we had transitioned to Jacksonville, Florida for a minute. And we had a great burden. There was a need in our family. Keep me right there, Kels. There was a need in our family. And I told my wife, I said, well, you know what we normally got to do when it gets this intense? We got to stay up all night and pray through. When I say pray through, I'm talking about praying from 10 at night all the way till 6, 7 in the morning. Non-stop pressing, pushing, standing on the word, worshiping until God give you an answer. Remember when the king was about to kill all of the wise men in the book of Daniel chapter 1 chapter 2 Daniel them didn't go Daniel said we well, ain't sleepy well, you better not sleep you about to get your neck chopped off I bet you can stay up all night and pray through come on somebody right in the middle of me and my wife just waiting before God and worshiping and praying it was about almost 2 30 that morning I, I told my wife, I said, babes, the Holy Ghost just spoke to me. In a couple of minutes, somebody going to knock on that door and give us what we need. I, my wife said, Lord, do it, do it, do it. Man, in just a few minutes, there was a knock on the door. Our deliverance came. <laughs> Joy comes. Somebody say, weeping. Come on, help me out a minute here. Someone shout, weeping may endure for a night but joy hey, it comes it comes it comes it comes somebody wave at me and say my morning is almost here my morning you play with me tonight my morning glory to god glory to god hallelujah now this, let me just let me just explain to you why, and, and you know the Holy Ghost put those words in my spirit. The, the word unprecedented actually means unheard of. Who ready for God to do something that's unheard of? <laughs> Who's ready for God to do something that's unheard of? Lord have mercy. The word victory means a successful ending. I don't care what you going through right now. I dare someone to say, this going to end good. This going to end good. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Say, this is going to end good. A successful ending of a struggle or contest. A conclusion, a landslide, a sweep, a slam, a run away with the victory. A last laugh, a blow out, a win, a win. Come on, somebody. Say, I win. I win. I win. I, I Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Say, I'm headed for a win. Can I get some help here tonight? I'm headed. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm headed for a win. I'm headed. 
Put on your marching shoes. I'm headed for a win. Win, 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 win. Now watch this. This brings us now to the book of Matthew chapter 14. And I'm reading from the New Living Translation. Matthew chapter 14, beginning at verse 22. Let's, let's, let's get into the word here now. Immediately after this, Jesus insisted. <laughs> Have you ever had Jesus insist on you? Come on, somebody. <laughs> he, he insisted that I leave the Bahamas. <laughs> And make the and make the transition into the U.S. Lord have mercy. Immediately after this, Jesus insisted that his disciples get back into the boat and to cross to the other side of the lake while he sent the people away. I dare someone to lift your hands to heaven and say, if Jesus tell you to get in the boat, just get in it, just get in it. Just I, Listen, you ain't, gotta, I, you ain't gotta understand. You ain't got to have it figured out. I dare someone to say, just get in the boat, get in the boat, get, 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 get in the boat. Just get in the boat. Some of you ask too much questions. Get in the boat. If he tell you to get in. <laughs> and Jeff, I got my mountain boots on. I'm ready to step in. Someone, someone shout. Just get in the boat, man. Just get in. Get, get, get. You getting ready to go somewhere. Sorry, Star Trek. Jesus is getting ready to take us to a place that we never been before. Somebody pack. You getting ready to go to another level. You getting ready to move from one place to another. I dare someone shout, I'm in transition. Transition, transition, transition. Come on, take the words. Transition. My season is changing. I'm at a turning point. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now watch this. So, so he insisted that they get back into the boat and cross over to the other side. He knows what he is doing. And Jesus sent the people away because they started to get the apostles almost out of the will of God. So Jesus had to, he had to separate them from the wrong crowd. Have you ever had Jesus step into your life and started yanking people out? Come on, somebody. Started snatching people out of your life. Snatching this one. Snatch. You thought you could have trusted that person, but he snatched them because he know they would have been bad for your future. My God, my God, my God. Shout, snatch him, Jesus. Snatch him, snatch him. Snatch him. <laughs> snatch them. If anybody wrong connected to me, snatch, 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 snatch them out of there. Snatch. Come on, somebody reach your hand and grab. Come on, come on, Zoom. I mean, you got to work with me tonight. Don't just sit there like a wall on a pickle. Start snatch them. Snatch them. Anybody connected to me that ought not be connected, snatch them. Move them out of my life. Pull me, Jesus. Anything connected, that's bad for me. Chop it off. Someone shout, snatch, snatch, chop, 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 chop. <laughs> now, now, if you, now, if you from the Carib, if, if you from the Caribbean, you know us Caribbean people and Africans. We love our machetes that we take into the field. Someone shout, chop, 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 chop it off. Hallelujah. <laughs> if they're full of gossip, chop them off. If they're full of adultery, come on somebody. If they got a lion demon, shout, chop them off. Chop, chop, chop. Chop, 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 chop. Come on somebody. Now watch this. So the Bible says Jesus had to yank these people out of their lives. He sent the people one way and he sent the apostles in the, in the other direction. 
after sending them home, Jesus went up into the hills by himself to pray. Night fell while he was there alone. You got to understand this, saints, the battle is won in prayer. I, I dare someone to say, pray, 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 pray. Come on, pray, pray, pray about it. Pray, pray. I dare someone to say, pray. Pray about it. Pray, pray, pray. He said, ask and you shall receive. Seek. Do we have anybody looking for something? He said, seek and you shall find. Knock, 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 knock. Do we have any knockers here tonight? Knock, knock, knock. And the door shall. A door getting ready to open. I'm preaching. To, help me preach tonight, Kels. I'm, I'm preaching to somebody that's been knocking for a long time. And it seems like nothing has been working out for you. The Holy Ghost want me to tell you the Lord's got his hand on the doorknob. Click, 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 click. The door getting ready to fly wide open. Shout yes. Shout yes. My God. So you got to understand the battle. The battle is won. The battle is won in prayer. The victory is actually won in prayer. And then it manifests out in the natural. Let's let's move on down into verse uh, verse uh, 24. Now, because he, he was alone. you got to get alone with God. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him will I trust. Surely, surely, surely. Someone shout surely. Surely, surely. He will deliver us from the snares of the fowler and from the noise and pestilence. He will cover me with his feathers and under his wings. I'll trust a stop by to tell somebody, you covered? Somebody shot, I'm covered, I'm covered. The devil tried, but he gonna fail, cause I'm covered. They tried to get me fired up the job mirage, but they failed. I'm covered. Someone shot, I'm covered, I'm covered, I'm, 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 I'm. He will cover me, cover me, Jesus. Cover me, cover me, cover me, cover me. The Lord is thy shade. I feel about this Holy Ghost. The Lord is thy shade on thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord, the Lord shall preserve you from all evil. He shall preserve your coming in and your going out from this time forth, even forevermore. Someone shout, he got my back. He got my, oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Now watch this. Let's keep it moving here. My God, my God, somebody pulling on the Holy Ghost tonight. Watch here. So the Bible says now, the disciples, they got into the boat. Now this is hours later. The Bible says in verse 24, while Jesus is up in the mountain enjoying the presence of God and fellowship with God, the Bible says, meanwhile, <laughs> Lord, 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 meanwhile, the disciples were in trouble. Who am I talking to tonight? I said the disciples were in trouble. Who, who am I talking to? Who, who, who's got some trouble tonight? Uh, wa wave at me. Oh, come on. Talk to me, saints. If you're on YouTube, Facebook, Zoom, talk to me if you've got some trouble tonight. Oh, do you, do you have any trouble? Do you have any trouble tonight? The meanwhile, notice, notice the words he used. The, the Bible says, meanwhile, the disciples were in trouble. Not just anybody. These are followers of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is a group of people who say, for Christ I live, and for Christ I die. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. You ain't got to have sin in your life for all hell to break loose. Just the mere fact you're right with God. And you are a disciple of the Lord Jesus Christ. You find yourself in trouble. Are you in trouble? Wave at me if you're in trouble. Say, Pastor, that's me. If you're on Facebook, on YouTube, on social media, say, that's me. I'm dealing with some trouble. Thank God. 
watch it, watch it. If you in trouble tonight, if you in trouble tonight, I got I got good news for you tonight. Now watch this. Watch this. Meanwhile, the disciples, meanwhile, the disciples were in trouble far away from the land. For a strong wind had risen and they were fighting heavy waves. Who, who's, who, who is it on here tonight that's dealing with this contrary winds? You are dealing with the winds of adversity. You are dealing with the winds of opposition. You are, you are, come on somebody. You serving God. Man, you didn't dream, you didn't eat too much pizza and had a bad dream and decide just to jump in the boat and head over. You literally got into the boat because Jesus told you to go into the boat. But what I want somebody to understand tonight is just because Jesus told you to get into the boat that doesn't mean you are exempted from trouble come on somebody I say it does not mean you are exempted from trouble but watch this now I want you to pull that scripture back up pull that scripture back up I want you to see this let, look, look at what it says so so now they, they fight in heavy waves but let me look into the camera for a minute but but I gotta ask you this you got to add you got to look at this story and put yourself in it why on God's earth are they fighting the winds of opposition why is the waves beating up against the ship why are they in this fight say this is Jesus fault I, come on come on come on come on lift your hands to heaven say say God caused this to happen yeah. I, I'm just obeying, man. I, 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 I wasn't. I'm just following. I'm just. I'm just taking orders. But what I want somebody to understand: if you in trouble because you took orders from him, I stop by to tell you, he is responsible for the outcome. If you got into the boat, my God, in obedience to the voice of God, he is obligated. To come through for you. Somebody shout, he is obligated. Oh, come on, Felicia, help me preach tonight. He is obligated. Come on, somebody. Come on, Kenya. Somebody help me preach tonight. Come on, Lydia. If I'm in the winds because I obeyed him and got into the boat, sooner or later, he will show up. Sooner or later, he got to show up because it's his integrity that's on the line. He told me to get into the ship and he told me that I'm going to make it to the other side. I didn't hear nothing about shipwreck. All I heard was you going to make it to the other side. Lift your hands to heaven. Prophesy over yourself and say, I'm headed to the other side. I may be in a little fight right now, but I'm going to make it. If I got to fight, I'm prepared to fight. If I got to pray, I'm prepared to pray. If I got to fast, I'm prepared to fast. But sooner or later, you going to have to show up. Someone shout, I need you right about now. I can use some help. Oh, come on, somebody. And the next verse says, and the next verse says, and about three o'clock in the morning, about three in the morning, Jesus came towards them walking on the water. My God, help is on the way. Who am I preaching to tonight? He knows you in the boat because you obeyed his voice. But what he wants you to know that the disciples did not understand. It's three in the morning when they got into the ship. It was six in the evening. They did not even realize. They were so caught up in the storm. They did not realize that they had entered into a new day. It's now three in the morning. Somebody shout, my season has changed. It was Monday evening when I got into the boat, but now it's Tuesday. It was Wednesday when I got into the mess, but now it's Thursday. But they so caught up in the storm, they did not even realize that this time had changed, the day had changed. Somebody shout, it's a new day. Shout new, 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 new. 
new. Somebody wave at me and shout new, 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 new. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy, it comes in the morning. Jesus of Nazareth, the miracle worker, is headed your way. Glory to God. And the Bible did not say, it did not say that he was swimming towards the disciples. The Bible says he was walking on top of the water. Someone shout, he is on top of this. He is on top of it. Your storm, your trouble is under his feet. Someone shout, it's under, it's under, it's under. It's under. You are headed for an unprecedented victory. You headed to victory. You headed to victory. Shout, help is on the way. Help is on the way. Jesus of Nazareth is headed my way. The one who raised Lazarus from the dead. The one who turned water into wine. The one who opened the eyes of blind Bartimaeus. He is headed to my life. And once Jesus get here, my situation, it's going to take a turn for the better. It's getting ready to turn. It's getting ready. Someone shout, it's getting ready to turn. It's getting ready to turn. It's getting ready to change. I've been in this storm. I've been rowing my boat. Row, row, row your boat. Gently down the stream. My God. They weren't in a gentle stream. They were caught in a storm. This thing was from hell. The storms was beating the boat. It was twisting the boat. It was turning the boat. It was trying to turn it over and cause them to drown. But I dare somebody to say, I can't can't go under because Jesus said I'm headed over I ain't going under I'm standing on the word on Christ the solid rock I stand all of the ground is sinking sand I'm going to stand let them mock me Jeff I'm going to stand let them lie on me I'm going to stand let them hate on me someone shout stand 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 and having done all to stand stand therefore with your loins girt about with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness my God someone shall stand 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 my God watch here watch here so, so the Bible says now Jesus is walking to them on top of the water. The storm is under his feet. Every step he's getting closer. Lord have mercy, the Lord's getting real close to somebody here tonight. He is headed to your house. He is headed to your life. He is headed to that job, to that marriage, to that sickness, to that financial struggle, to that business, to that ministry that seems like it's getting ready to go under. Jesus is headed your way. Come on, someone wave and say, help, help, help is on the way. Help, help is on the way. Help is on the way. It's only a matter of time. I, I, I just need to hang in. My God, I want to quit ruin because you get tired of ruin. But the Holy Ghost said, tell you, be not weary in well-doing. For in due season, you shall reap if you feed not. Somebody help me row this boat. Somebody help me row. Come on, somebody. Come on, help me row. Help me row tonight. Help me row. Hang in there. Hang in there, Donnell. Hang in there, Doreen. Hang in there, Jean or John. Hang in there. Just a little while longer. The storm is almost over. The st- Somebody shout, it's almost over. It's almost. Someone type them words. It's almost over. It's almost. It's almost over. I just need to hang in for just a little while longer because Jesus, the Son of God, the miracle worker, the devil chaser, is headed to my life. I know I'm tired, but I just need to hang in there just a little while. My change is on the way. My change is coming soon. It's on the way. It's on the way. 
it's just a matter of time I just got to hang in there I'm preaching to somebody that want to throw down their oars someone who want to quit a rowing the Holy Ghost told me to tell you don't give up you on the brink of a miracle don't give up darling you're on the brink of a miracle your prayer is almost answered your prayers have been heard and Jesus is headed to your boat shout come on Jesus I need thee every hour I need thee my God now watch this and the Bible says now coming into verse 26 the Bible says and when the disciples when they saw him walking on the water Lord have mercy Jesus they were terrified they were petrified in their fear you see that they cried out it's a ghost the spirit of fear got a hold of them freaked them out the moonlight was shining the wind was blowing the waves was trying to beat into the boat and now they see something coming walking on top of the water Lord help us they didn't know what to do they clung to one another ah uh, but I like these words right here come on pull them out for me listen to what Jesus said but Jesus spoke to them at once don't be afraid he said take courage child take courage children I'm here oh glory to God oh come on somebody say Jesus is here Jesus he, oh come on somebody say Jesus is here Jesus is here he's not headed to your house now he is here someone shout he's here he's here he's here storm you can't kill me because the Bible says no weapon formed against me will be able to prosper and every tongue that rise against me in judgment it shall be condemned when the enemy come against me like a flood the Spirit of God will raise up a standard against him shall raise up the standard raise it up Jesus Jesus is here shout somebody Jesus is here Jesus is here King Nebuchadnezzar he throwed Shadrach Meshach and Abednego into the burning fiery furnace but Jesus showed up the king said wait a minute I thought I threw three men into the fire but I see a fourth one and it looks like the son of God you are right Jesus is here my help is here my backup is here you shall not need to fight in this battle this battle belongs to God you might be in a storm right now but the storm is almost over you getting ready to conquer your storm you getting ready to take authority over your storm someone sound unprecedented 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 victory greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world shout I'm coming out of this I'm gonna make it I'm gonna make it Jesus is here Mary's baby is here the healer is here my deliverer is here my way maker is here someone shout he's here he's here he's my God now, now watch this now Peter when, when Jesus showed up now you got to ah oh my God someone's getting a touch on the right side of the neck someone's being healed on the right on the back right side of their neck I'm gonna finish preach the word but I got to give the word that the Holy Ghost has given me someone's being healed it's, it's, it's like a fracture on a sprain on the back right side of the neck somebody is being healed just put your hands there and receive your miracle in the name of Jesus Christ the Son of the Living God receive that healing on the back right side of the neck just take it just take it it's yours it's yours you cried out to him
you cried out to God and asked him to heal you. He's heard your cry. That's it. That's it. You are totally healed by the power of God. Now let's get back into the word here. Let's get back to the scripture. So the Bible says in verse 28, then Peter, who was just crying out for fear and crying like a baby, afraid all of a sudden when Jesus shows up, I tell you, faith, you, I mean, faith, it just rubbed off on him. All of a sudden, Peter got bold. <laughs> Lord, if it's really you, now you know he's church people. They got to have if in their prayer. If it's really you, tell me, command me to come to you, not swimming either. We're going to find out right now if this you or not. Tell me to come to you walking on top of the water. I want to, I know the waves are still rough. I know the winds are still blowing. But I sure would feel good to have this thing under my feet too. If this is really you, my situation going to flip on its head. And it's going to be under my feet in a matter of time. In just a matter of moments. If you are, if you are for real Jesus, just tell me to come. Look at the next words. Jesus said, yes, come. Ah, Lord, have mercy. Someone shall come, 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 come. Oh, he's talking to somebody. Come, come, come. Lord, have mercy. Jesus said, yes, come, Jesus said. So Peter, he, he, he didn't even wait for no one to try to talk him out of this. It's my kind of guy. Went over the side of the boat. <laughs> I love this. He went over the side of the boat and walked on the water towards Jesus. Ah, come on, somebody act like you're walking. Ah, but, but you got to understand what's happening here. It, the storm wasn't calm yet. The, the, the wind is still blowing. The waves are still trying to turn the boat over. But something happened when Jesus came. There was a shift. Now, the storm... It's under your feet. Oh, come on, somebody. Just stand to your feet. Glory to God. It's under. Someone sound it's under. Someone stop. It's under my feet. Come on, somebody. It's under. It's under. It's under. The storm is under my feet. It's under my feet. You tried to kill me, but you're under my feet. You lied on me. But you're under my feet. You stole my money. But you're under my feet. You destroyed my marriage. But you're under my feet. You turned my kids against me. But you're under my feet. You caused me to lose my job. But you're under my feet. I lost the business deal. But you're under. Someone shout, you're under, you're under, you're under. You're under my feet. You're under my feet. He's given you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and absolutely nothing shall by any means hurt you. Somebody march. He's under, he's under my feet. He is under my feet. He is under my feet. Someone shout, I'm on top of this. I'm on top of my storm. I'm on top of it. I ain't afraid no more. I'm delivered from fear. You are under. The devil is under my feet. Someone type those words. The devil is under. He's under. He's under. Hallelujah. My God. He's under my feet. He's under. He's under. He's under. He's under. Now watch this. Peter is on top of his storm. And it's all right, because this happens to all of us. Peter is on, on top of his storm. But the next verse says, but when, when he saw the strong wind and the waves, he was terrified and began, didn't say he sink, says he began. <laughs> He began to sink. And 
He said, save me, Lord. We don't have time for no long prayer. <laughs> he shouted, save me, Lord. Three words to get a prayer answer. This must be one of the shortest prayer in the Bible. <laughs> save me, Lord. The next verse says, Jesus immediately reached out and grabbed him. He only started to sink. He didn't go all the way down. Jesus grabbed him and pulled him right back on top of the water. I dare someone to say, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. I didn't, the, the, man, don't, don't rejoice my enemies because I didn't go under. I only started. But he grabbed him and pulled him back on top of the water. Keep in mind, they're not in the boat yet because he got to make sure Peter conquer this thing. I dare someone to say, he, he's settling some stuff. He, he is settling this. He is settling this. He is, come on somebody. He is settling this thing. He is making sure you understand. You are going to dominate. He pulled him back on top of the storm. Took his hands off him. And he's looking beat in his face. And look at what he said to him. Jesus said these words. You have so little faith, Jesus said. Why? Why did you doubt me, Peter? Why, why, why? Why did you doubt? Why did you doubt? Notice, notice Jesus didn't beat Peter up like church people and let him drown and half kill himself, half kill himself before he helped him. That's the problem with church people. The minute somebody mess up, they're ready to whack them in the head. Wait a minute. Let's grab the people, pull them back up on solid footing, make sure they got the thing in control, didn't talk about how they messed up. You see, Jesus encouraged people first, got them back on their footing, and then he said, why? Because now we can talk about it because he's dominating, he's back on top of the water. And guess what, saints? He ain't sinking this time. He is not sinking this time. He is, come on, somebody lift your hands to heaven and say, I'm not sink. I'm not sinking this time. Keep in mind, they having this conversation on top of the water. They, they ain't in the boat yet. You see, you see, a lot of preachers like to talk about how Peter sunk. And it didn't say he sunk, it, said, it says he began. But wait a minute. These men are having a conversation in the midst of the storm. <laughs> the storm had no more effect on Peter. I dare someone to say, this thing have no more effect on me after tonight. It has no more effect on me after tonight. I, I mean, this is a, Jeff, I, 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 wish, I wish we could have had this thing on video. I, I mean, Jesus and Peter standing there in the midst of the storm. Talking. Why did you doubt? Why? Why? But you got to understand, he's not doubting anymore. He's not afraid anymore. He's on top of the water. Standing there, talking to Jesus. They, they're both dominating. I dare someone to say, I'm dominating this thing. I'm dominating. Man, come on somebody. I'm dominating this. Dominating it. I'm I don't even need the boat because Jesus is here. Come on. He, he's not even in the boat. He's here on top of the storm, folk. Don't miss this. I, there's someone to say, now he is the one who told him to get in the boat and he was the same one who told him to get out the boat. This is why we got to be listening to the voice of the Lord. When Jesus shop, you don't need the boat. <laughs> I dare someone to say, I don't even need what I thought I did need. I don't need that stuff. <laughs> and they still there, they talking. Jesus letting Peter calm down. Pete, how, how does this feel? Peter said, Lord, Peter's looking at the boat still rocking. The boat's still rocking. 
the other 11 disciples still hanging on to the sides of the boat looking. Jesus said, all right, Peter. All right, Felicia. All right, DJ. All right, Doreen. Marie, Darnell. Come on, somebody. Maya, Abla. Come on, come on. Beth, Doreen, Jean, Cheryl. Come on. He said, now that you got this thing under control, this, the wind's still blowing. You see this? You, do you see this, Beverly? The wind's still blowing. Do you see this, Kenya? The wave's still rocking. But it have no effect on the apostle Peter. It has no effect on it. I dare someone to say, it have no effect. Devil, do you hear what I'm preaching tonight? Someone shout unprecedented victory. Unprecedented. Unprecedented. She got her mandal of a cosa. Unprecedented. Un, un, unprecedented victory. You are next in line. My God. You're next in line. You're next. Someone shout, I'm next. I'm next. I'm next. I'm next, I'm next in line. I'm next. Here, Baba Shanda of a bosa. I'm next in line. Peter's looking at Jesus. This sure feels good. Hey Jeff, Peter's looking at the other disciples and the other disciples' eyes bug, bugged out like a bullfrog. What on earth is happening? Jesus said, Peter, now that you know you are in control of this thing, you ready for us to walk back to the boat and then get in it me and you can walk to land if we want to <laughs> but so the others don't feel left out <laughs> for, for, the, for, for the sake of the rest of them let's climb back into the boat watch this watch this watch this next verse don't miss this here the next verse says when they climbed they didn't swim they walked back and when they climbed back into the boat the wind ceased but but this is the thing that blew my mind this is the thing that blew my mind the wind the waves splash splash all this going on and jesus and peter ain't even studying it they just standing there with one another talking <laughs> when God brings you to a next level that's how you know you have reached an unprecedented victory oh my God someone lift your hands to heaven and say this one's unprecedented this one is unprecedented and then they climb back into the boat and Jesus look at the storm and say you may as well stop because you have no effect on these fellas anymore and the Bible said the wind the wind stopped that was a demon that was a demon. He was defeated. He realized I failed. <laughs> someone say you. Someone prophesied to the devil and say you failed. You failed. You failed. You failed. He realized he failed. So the wind stopped. And the next verse, the Bible says, <laughs> "Lord, help us tonight, Jesus." The Bible says, then the disciples worshipped him. You really are the son of God. We worship Christ. Go for it. My God. Thank you, Jesus. We worship Christ, the Lord. Sing it. We worship Christ. The Lord, we lift our hands to you. We lift our hands to Him today. We worship Christ, the Lord. Come on and lift your hands to heaven. Sing it with me. We worship Christ, the Lord. We worship. Christ the Lord we lift our hands to you to 
day we worship Christ. Listen, you've stepped into an unprecedented victory tonight. I said you have stepped into an unprecedented victory tonight. Jesus brings you through the storm to a place that the storm has no effect on your life. Some of you have faced situations that have nagged you and troubled you and disturbed you for years. But on tonight, the Lord has decided to bring you to a place where that problem will not have any effect on your life anymore moving forward whatsoever. The enemy may try to raise his head but it's under, he's under your feet tonight. Today we worship Christ the Lord. Come on, sing it with me tonight. We worship Christ the Lord. Sing it with me. We worship Christ the Lord. We lift our hands. We lift our hands to Him today. We worship Christ the Lord. Sing it to Him. We worship Christ the Lord. If you receive the word tonight, say, Pastor, I receive it. I receive it tonight. I receive it unprecedented victory. I receive it tonight. I receive the word tonight. To hear today we worship Christ the Lord. Come on, sing it to the King. We worship Christ the Lord. You see, he, He's doing something in your life. He allowed you to run into that storm to teach you one of the greatest lessons in your life that he can bring you to a place where the storm is under your feet and it has no more effect on your life he's given his people an unprecedented victory tonight we worship Christ the Lord thank you oh we lift our hands to him today Father God tonight me and Pastor Amy we cover your people tonight we cover them in the blood of Jesus we seal this word in their life tonight we cover them unprecedented victory unprecedented victory we declare it in their life they have reached a turning point their season is changing it's changing Jesus it's changing it's changing bring strength into that single mom that family who have been destroyed by divorce heal their wounds God come on Jesus come on Jesus come on Lord step in Lift that burden, that prayer. Answer that mama's prayer, God. That wife's prayer for her unsaved husband. Answer that prayer, Lord. We lift our hands to Him. Today we worship Christ the Lord. We worship you. We worship Christ. The Lord, we worship Christ, the Lord, we lift our hands to Him, today we worship Christ, the Lord, we worship Christ. I feel the Lord is near his people tonight. He's near his people tonight. He loves you. He's going to bring you out of it. 
lift our hands to Him. Today we worship Christ the Lord. I surrender all. We want to give somebody an opportunity on tonight to surrender their life to Jesus. Jesus came preaching the gospel and John the Baptist and Paul and Peter and they all said repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever should believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. He loves you tonight. He is wanting to forgive you of your sins on tonight. If your heart is not right with God, if you are not a born again Christian, it's time to come to Jesus. Come to Jesus tonight. Surrender your life to him. Receive his forgiveness. Without any further hesitation, I want you to pray this prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus, I am a sinner in need of a savior tonight. Lord, I'm asking you to forgive me of all of my sins. I'm asking you to wash me in your blood. I believe you are the Son of God. I believe you died on Calvary Cross for my sins. They buried you in a borrowed tomb, but on the third day, God raised you from the dead. Father God, from this night moving forward, I receive your forgiveness. I turn my back on the world, the flesh, and the devil to serve the true and living God and his son, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus, for saving my soul and for giving me of all of my sins. Listen, if you prayed that prayer with me and meant it with all of your heart, I want you to type in the live chat right now, I've just surrendered my life to Jesus. I want you to do it right now. And all to thee, my blessed Savior, I surrender all. I surrender. People are surrendering tonight. God bless you. I see those surrenders. God bless you tonight. I surrender all. And all. Melissa Daniels, many of you surrendering tonight. And I. I may Madden, God bless you, Gloria, God bless you, and I surrender. Andre, God bless you, Rose, God bless you tonight. Fatima, she came, God bless you tonight. All to thee and all. Shirley, God bless you. Sheku, God bless you tonight, and I. Surrender all. I surrender tonight, and I surrender. God bless you. Souls are being saved here tonight, and I surrender all. Come on, saints. Give them a big welcome into God's family. Maria, God bless you tonight. God bless you tonight. Give him a big welcome into God's family here tonight. I surrender and I surrender all. And I surrender all and all. Patrick, God bless you tonight. And I surrender. I give myself. I give myself away. Come on, lift your hands to heaven. Give him a wave tonight. God bless you, Tavika. God bless you tonight. 
Listen to Give Into the Work of God to support the work of God. You can visit us online right now at seanpender.net, you move mountains, at seanpender.net forward slash give. You can also give through the ministry PayPal account. That address is paypal.me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also text to give. All you have to do is text the letters SPM to the number 45888 and a link will be sent to your smartphone immediately. You can also give through the Ministry Zell account. The Ministry Zell email address is info at seanpinder.net. You can also give through the Ministry Cash App account. The Ministry Cash App address is the dollar sign Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also mail your donations into the ministry. Just remember to make your checks and money orders out to Sean Pinder Ministries, P.O. Box 2726, McKinney, Texas 75070. There is nothing. There is nothing that's impossible. That's impossible. And we're standing here. You made a way. You made a way. Come on, sing it to him on tonight. You made a way. We're standing and we're standing here. And you move mountains, you move mountains. And you cause walls to fall. 